Hi, parents and students. My name is Ara Dare, and I'm going to be showing you how to access emails, OneNote, and Teams while you're learning at home this week and into the future. To do this, I'm going to share my computer screen, and I'm going to go straight to Google to do that. Now, when your child accesses Google, they're going to be searching Microsoft 365 login, and they're going to be opening the link that has Office 365 login Microsoft Office. When they select this link, it will send them to a sign-in page where they use their school email and password. If their school email and password has issues, they can use the school username and password, which is just the first letters and number of their emails. When they open up the Microsoft Office, it will send them to a home page. And what's really important about this home page are the icons or apps on the left-hand side. So you'll see there's an Outlook app which you can click on and go straight into your school emails. If you go down a little bit further, there's a OneNote app. Now that means you can, that gives you the link to be able to access any of your subject class notebooks that are available and to be able to see the content that is going to be taught. Lastly, we have our Teams icon at the bottom. And when you access or click on the Teams link, you get access to a page where you can directly communicate with your teacher. Quite often it opens to a Teams homepage as my computer has done. If it opens to a previous Teams page that you have been accessed to, there's a little all Teams button in this top left corner, which will send you back to this homepage. Now we're teaching classes as per normal. So if you have maths in period two, you would be selecting your maths during that period two time. And it'll send you to a posts slash new conversation page. This is where you can communicate directly with your teacher and you can ask any questions, but it also gives you the opportunity to access your class notebook on a different platform. At the top, you see this class notebook link. When you click on that, it will give you access to your notebook, just as the OneNote app did previously on the Microsoft 365 page. When you click on this, it doesn't always send you to the correct page, you will often have to navigate your way through a OneNote to find where that work is being saved. Now that can be done by using a, or using the icon in this corner that looks like three books linked together. If we click on that, we get our content library or our schoolwork link. You can click on the term and you can access the lessons that your teacher has prepared for you. What I recommend here is that students access this open in browser, which open, is open in desktop app. Now for most students, it's actually an edit notebook link that is available here. They still wanna be clicking on it and opening it, opening it in the desktop app. What that means for MacBook users is that if they have a OneNote app available on the bottom of the screen, it will then be accessible there. They no longer have to go through Microsoft 365 to be able to open their OneNote. They can simply click on that app. And for Microsoft users down at the Windows corner in the bottom left, if they have a OneNote available, they can then click on that and have access to their OneNote pages. If you are having any concerns or queries about how to access any schoolwork in the future, please make sure that you reach out to the teacher of your child and ask them any questions directly so that you can um, be able to move forward and assist in your learning.